Let's be honest, the build of a world is pretty safe. I mean, besides a couple of rocks, there really isn't too much to worry about. Well, at least until today, because I'm going to be making the map way more difficult and adding in a bunch of whirlpools. Now, you might be wondering how I'm going to do this, and honestly, I don't really quite yet know. <laughs> I mean, there are certain obvious ways we can move things around. I mean, we can use wheels, but honestly, I have no idea how I'm actually going to make these boats move into a spiral pattern. But I mean, this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> like, what is happening here, dude? Oh, uh, uh, oh, I almost lost it. I right, go. Now, another thing we could use is actually called the conveyor glitch. And pretty much what happens is any moving block in the game, when you actually anchor it off while it's moving, it kind of like keeps the movement, as you can see right here. So... Yeah, this thing right here will always move me forward. But one problem with that is I'm only moving in one direction. Like, how am I gonna... I, like, I don't even know if it's possible to actually do that glitch in, like, a spiraling pattern. I mean, actually, we can kind of test right now. Wait, what if we... Okay, are we rotating? Wait a second. Wait, I think we might actually... Wait a second! Okay, wait, the shape of this is wrong. All right, there we go. Now this thing is a perfect square. Let me drop it down. Okay, we start rotating it. Okay, it is it. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait. It's rotating! It's rotating! Let's see, if we anchor it off, what's gonna happen? Oh, wait! This is totally gonna work! Now, one problem is, is that currently we are not getting closer to the actual center because pretty much we kind of slowly want to be pushing the player towards the center. But dude, this is pretty good. Wait a second! Like, right now, I'm, I'm kind of in like a whirlpool. Kinda. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Look, the outside is way slower. The inside is way quicker. This is kind of perfect. All right, then we only still have the problem of how are we actually going to make the player slowly move towards the center? Because obviously that thing right there was really small, but I'm planning to make something that's like pretty ginormous. Okay, wait, hear me out. I actually have what might be a bit of a crazy idea. All right, so here we have a square. I'm going to test this out with squares for now. And right, I'm going to need four of these. There you go. All right, and obviously, because using the boat motors is a little bit silly, we're actually going to be using wheels. All right, we're going to set this to movement two. All right, so this right here is the perfect middle. Now, you might think to yourself, we got to place this in the exact middle. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to place this like off center. This is the middle. I'm going to place that right there. For the next one, I'm going to move it to a different side. There you go. All right, there you go. So none of these are actually perfectly in the center. We're going to remove some material right here off each corner. That one's going to be that. That one's going to be that. And that one's going to be that. There you go. I'm going to place a piston there, set it to 10. All right, perfect. All right, everything is working exactly the way I want it. Now, one thing I had to make sure is that pretty much with pistons, I can bring these back exactly the way I wanted. All right, so everything works as planned. All right, now one thing I'm going to have to see is when I actually start spinning these, what is going to be happening? All right, so here we we go start spinning and yeah baby okay so this thing i mean it's currently going a little bit too fast maybe i'll slow this down slow it down to 10 but yeah no matter what happens these are pretty much staying perfectly aligned so yeah as you can see it is pretty much staying a perfect square all right now let's see if this entire thing is even gonna work all right so this entire thing is looking a little bit crazy but i think it will make a lot of sense the moment i activate it so here we go act okay i missed one thing up <laughs> Uh, actually, I messed multiple things up. Uh, the main thing I messed up is collision. All right, collision off on those. Also, the spacing is off. All right, collision's off. Also, I fixed a couple of the things, you know, sticking together. But let's see. Okay, we activate it. And there you go, baby. As you can see, this thing is currently perfectly spinning. Now, as you can see, it's kind of like expanding and also shrinking all the time. But pretty much what we want to do is we want to anchor this thing off when it's actually kind of like shrunk together. So, and then turn off collision or turn on collision. Sorry. All right, now if I'm not mistaken. Okay, wait, collision on. Sorry. Okay, come on, come on, please. All right, so in theory, we should be slowly but surely actually getting closer to the actual middle. And as you can see, every single step we take, we are getting a little bit closer, okay? <laughs> Wait, it's working perfectly. Wait, it, 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 it's perfect. Look. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe if I don't fall through the floor. Okay, look, 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 look. It's literally perfect. We are currently very slowly getting sucked into the middle of this whirlpool, dude. Look at us going. All right, now it's going a little bit slowly. I could speed that up. I kind of like the idea of it being slow. This is kind of amazing. Now, the reason this actually works is because the center of where things are actually rotating, as you can see where the wheels are placed, I mean, it's not the actual middle for every single one of these. So every corner we go on, pretty much we're getting getting slowly sucked in a little bit each and every time. All right, now we still got a major problem. And that is currently we have this little 
I don't know, this little turd right here. We don't want no little turd. We want a majestic, gigantic whirlpool. Now I already know exactly how I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be placing ourselves a plastic block that is actually going to be as thin as it can be. 0 0.05. There you go. And now we want actually this thing to be as big as it can be as well. Oh my God, that is literally barely not touching the wall. All right, there you go. Right, now we've got to turn this thing into a perfect circle, which is going to be very easy. There you go. And there it is. That is the perfect circle we were looking for. All right, now the placement of this, the exact center is exactly where it should be. So we should actually, in theory, be able to just grab this whole thing and clone it upward. All right, there it is. That is the four layers we were looking for. But we currently have a problem. Uh, every single one of these is a full circle. And actually, we kind of need to have the corners we had earlier. So yeah, we're going to have to get those back. So yeah, let's get those back. All right, that's kind of perfect. All right, that is our first corner. All right, now doing what we got to do is actually going to be very easy. Clone it, rotate it, clone it. All right, there it is. I think that should be every corner done. All right, there it is. We have the corner set up. Now, just to make it easier to see what we're actually doing right here, I painted everything in different colors. All right, now the real question is whether this is going to work at all okay so it's doing its thing like it was before okay it gets closer together that's what we want to see and then it goes further apart okay 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 it's gonna it's gonna work it's gonna work we're gonna just time this right okay, so that should work I'll turn on collision on all of that and i think right here we should have ourselves a proper working whirlpool dude <laughs> Wait, we're actually going outwards. Wait, I think we're actually spinning too fast. Wait, okay. Now, the wheels were spinning extremely slowly, but because it's so big, I mean, you really are spinning quite fast. Okay, I think I know what they got to do. I'm going to have to make it so they suck you in even more than before. But doing that is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to have to move the wheels ever so slightly further away. So... Uh, those pink blocks right there are the middle. So we're going to move it like four blocks away. Sorry, four studs away. Something like that. All right, got to make sure it's all connected, though. Oh, I actually don't know if I can make this actually even slower. Like, oh, wait, actually, I guess wheel speed 0 0.5. <laughs> I mean, that is really slow, dude. And right, here we go. Same thing as before. All right, it's doing its thing. All right, we're going to wait for the right time. All right, actually, that's wrong. Ah, I just lost it. <laughs> All right, there it is. That should be perfect. Holy dude. All right, so we're, we're going to hop in right here at the corner. Okay, let's see how we're going to get sucked in. Oh, dude, we're slowly but surely getting closer, dude. It's actually working perfectly. Now, I'm not even touching anything, but as you can see, we are slowly going closer and closer to the actual center of the build. That is exactly what I wanted to see. And very slowly, we should actually end up in the hole. Wait, if the collision was off. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There it is. We fall through the hole, baby. <laughs> All right, now I think we can actually make the mechanics of this a little bit cleaner. So let's work on that first. And then, of course, we're gonna have to kill whatever gets to the center. I mean, we could literally insta-kill entire boats by using a pretty similar glitch. All right, so I cleaned up the mechanics a little bit. So now there's just pretty much only one block that I got to make sure is anchored off. It's this giant red block right here. And when I flick the lever, as you can see, the exact same thing happens where, yeah, uh, things are moving all kind of funky. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, now I went ahead and added in a couple of mechanics that pretty much allow me to perfectly line this up with the actual ground on the floor right here. So as you can see, I mean, it's kind of like only one of them is clipping, but trust me, these are all pretty much exactly inside of the floor right now. And pretty much what that means, we actually, you know, uh, <laughs> walk around the ground right here. Uh, yeah, we pretty much just turned the actual ground right here into a conveyor. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty trippy. All right, now it seems like I've actually pushed things a little bit too close to the ground. So I'm going to set the piston length of one of them to literally 0.99, okay? Literally 0 0.01 less, and I think that should be enough. Yeah, okay, that is literally perfect. Oh my god. Now you might be wondering what's going to happen, you know, when an actual boat ends up on top of here. So let me show you. Let's just say that this little thing right here is going to be our boat. Here we go. And yeah... <laughs> Uh, we have officially ended up inside of the whirlpool. <laughs> Dude, look at us going. Now, very, very slowly, we should actually be getting closer and closer to the center right here. But just to make sure that it does exactly what I want it to do, I'm going to turn collision off of all of the middle stuff. And oh, let's just make it invisible. There you go. Yeah, as you can see, we have officially made it to the very center of our whirlpool. <laughs> Now, we can't just have people be stuck right here. You know, that would be insanely boring. We're going to have to kill them. 
<laughs> oh, lucky for us, with kind of like a similar mechanic, it is actually possible to kill someone. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's say we grab this puppy right here. Honestly, it just kind of looks like a weird configuration of wheels. And we place a block at the end right here. And we set all of these to maximum wheel speed and green torque. Like everything except one. And okay, we broke it. Great. All right, we're going to grab a lever. And pretty much we want to click that lever. Okay. okay, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> uh, Everything died. Okay, maybe we... Maybe actually doing only two wheels is enough. All right, there we go. Only two wheels this time. All right, there you go. So I turned it on. Oh my God. Okay, it already flung me. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's say we take this thing right here and we do the exact same thing where we anchor off the block. Now, what do you think is happening to this block right here? Well, actually, let me show you. This is a really broken block. Okay, wait, let me apply this to a bigger block. If we scale it into that, unanchor this and re-anchor it, I think. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It, ah! Okay, that's... <laughs> That is exactly what I'm talking about. That block right there is doing exactly what we were just doing with those blocks. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, what if we actually pretty much add in that exact thing right there into this build? All right, so the mechanic would have to go right here. I'm gonna go up. Okay, we, we need more space. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna first make the mechanic. All right, I think this actually should be it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we have officially added in this absolute abomination. Actually, kind of want it to be a little bit lower, though. I, I can easily change that, though. I think I just remove that and place that instead. Yeah, that location is looking a little better. <laughs> All right, anchor it off at the right time. Bang! And that is exactly where I wanted that to be as well. Holy dude! Like all collision on. All right now, I think the moment I touch that thing, I am literally gonna die. Oh, 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 the game. Oh, the game's not liking it. Okay, I kind of want this block to be a little bit bigger. Oh, boy! Oh, God! Oh, God! I want that block to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> all right, so the way I'm actually gonna make it bigger is just by simply... Yeah. Adding in a super thin brawl around the edge right here, just like so. Yeah, that size for a block that absolutely destroys everything is looking a little bit better. All right, let's give this thing its final proper test rider here. Okay, so we're gonna do everything the way we planned. We're gonna select everything except for that block, an anchor, collision off, activate, okay. Okay, it is an absolute disaster down there, which is exactly what we wanna see. And then at the right time, we hit him with a bop. Okay, All right now that block right there is not in the exact middle, but I think that's fine. Okay, All right, collision's back on. All right, you know what? I think I'm just ready. I think, you know what? Let's actually do this with a boat. <laughs> All right, a very, very, very simple boat right here. Hey, come on, okay. Okay, we're in the whirlpool. We're in the whirlpool, I repeat! We are in the whirlpool! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, we are slowly getting closer. We are slowly but surely starting to get closer. Now, I'm terrified of actually hitting that block because I have no idea what's really gonna happen. Ooh, we're starting to get really close. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm a little bit worried. Okay, okay, we're right there. 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, dude, if you were just playing the game and you all of a sudden get pulled into that, that is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Because especially, you gotta consider, typically this thing would be 100% invisible. It's just, it's just the thing. And of course, typically, this thing would actually be in the water. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh God, oh God, I forgot collision. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh, baby, it's right there, baby! We put the whirlpool in the water! Oh, dude, we're ready. Oh, dude, we're ready. <laughs> Get rid of all that. Oh my god, dude, it's right there, but you can't even see it! All right, now I can't actually, uh, you know, start the water because if I do, the entire thing is gonna break. So, uh, yeah, instead I'm just gonna use this little slab of ice to actually get us in the water right here, baby. Here we go. <laughs> get rid of that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I ended up in the whirlpool! I ended up in the whirlpool! Dude, now typically, one thing I was actually really worried about is that actually you pretty much, you know, have this very tiny ledge that the boat wouldn't go over. But dude, I ended up inside of this whirlpool instantly. Oh God. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die. And actually so far so good. Okay. Oh, oh wait, it gave me a bounce. It gave me a bounce, but it just put me back in the whirlpool. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, it just flipped me out again. It just put me right here this time. <laughs> now, I'm actually really curious to see what's gonna happen when you put, when you put some bigger builds onto this thing. Okay, here we go. We're in the whirlpool. <laughs> We freaking made it in! Dude, this boat is gonna get absolutely nuked, man. 
<laughs> I hate whirlpools. You know what? I kind of want to just make it visible. Just because it's actually kind of cool to see. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're actually... Ah! You know what? I might just, you know, I might just hop onto this guy's boat. Just because it's a little bit safer looking. Uh, have fun with that, my friend. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this thing was a huge success. <laughs>